Hey, this is Nick from Gates Air. Thanks for stopping by. Come on in, we've got a lot to show you. So hey Rob, thanks for uh, taking a minute. We're here in our test area at our Gates Air campus here. And Rob's uh, the lead on testing all of our products that are going out the door. Um, real quick, Rob, just give me a brief breakdown on like the process uh, for testing our gear before it goes out the door. Sure. Uh, once the transmitter is assembled, uh, we bring it over here and we we put it through its paces, uh, make sure everything is, is uh, performing as intended. In terms of what we're looking at here, what, what is this model of transmitter? This model is a VHTE uh, low band. So model. low band being uh, low band channel VHF. 6 and below? Yeah. Okay, gotcha. This particular one I believe is at channel 4. Channel 4, okay. Yep. And then we've got some, you're testing all the breakers, yep. the exciter, making sure the power supplies yeah. are... Every, everything that we will send along with it is fully tested, vetted out, and proven to be uh, up to our specifications for performance. Okay, so what kind of testing then specifically do you do for each station uh, and transmitter? Uh, for each station, we put it on the uh, channel that it's, uh, it's been required, the TPO, the power level uh, that the uh, station needs when they receive it. So we set it up exactly as they're going to turn it on in, in, at their station. And, uh, and then just run it through sure the ropes that here. We're meeting all of our performance specifications that are published. Okay, gotcha. So you have probably a long list of things that yep. check this box, check that yeah. box. It's got to meet all, all of our quality all standards. All of our quality standards for the products. Yeah. Gotcha. So on this particular transmitter, like what are you doing on this guy today? Um, we are uh, bringing the transmitter up from scratch, so that's why you don't see any lights on it. Gotcha. And, and then behind me, there's all kinds of electrical connections, yeah, so you'll all the inputs, you'll line and it up. come in. Uh, we, we have to hook everything up, and then we bring it up slowly to make sure we don't have any uh, faulty components. And then we do an extended heat run over time okay. uh, for 24 hours to make sure we don't have any input mortality problems. Gotcha. So. So you could be testing a VHF today, a UHF tomorrow, uh, liquid FM, cooled, yeah. FM, air cooled, right. run the gamut. Yeah, and everything you see, like these individual sub assemblies, before they're assembled in this final transmitter, are lower level assemblies as oh, well. Wow. So there's additional quality inspections that are put in in place in the nature of the way we build a product. So it's coming from a totally different assembly line. Yeah. Get compiled a couple times until it makes it to the, yeah. so the big this, league over here. This has already been <laughs> tested about two or three times before we put it at gotcha. the customer's final frequency, the station's final frequency, and yeah. the TPO, uh, make sure it works as a whole system. Cool. Well, thanks for taking a few minutes. This is great stuff. Sure. Appreciate it. Thank you.